Hey guys, Steven here, Fanatic Perspective. Um, sad, crazy, you know, I don't know how to actually explain today um, with the announcement of Manu Ginobili's retirement from the San Antonio Spurs. Um, been with us since, since 2003. Um, one of the all-time great players in San Antonio Spurs history, without a doubt, uh, will be a Hall of Famer. Um, one of the most unique players in basketball history and you really can't tell the story of basketball just from a FIBA perspective all the way transitioning into how the EuroLeague and the influence comes into the NBA without telling the story of Manu Ginobili and it's funny because as a Spurs fan growing up I always fought this stigma of how boring the Spurs were and we weren't fun to watch and it's crazy because Manu Ginobili has always been one of the most exciting fun, creative players we've ever seen. Uh, the Euro step, the block on Harden last year at age 39 uh, in the playoffs, the reverse dunk his rookie year against the Lakers. I mean, uh, him going off against Phoenix, his resume is as long as the day. Um, but I'm just so appreciative to have seen Manu play, uh, to be a part of the big three, him, Tony Parker, and Tim Duncan. Um, they were probably one of the most successful, not not probably, they are one of the most successful big threes of all time in the history of basketball, um, and Manu Ginobili was a huge part of that. Um, I can't make this video without stating how unselfish um, a man, a teammate, a player that Manu was. I hearken back to Kevin Durant on the Bill Simmons podcast last year where he said, uh, Manu Ginobili's a fucking winner, uh, pardon my language. Uh, that's how we feel, um, how strong we feel about Manu. Um, and, you know, I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss seeing him on the bench. I'm gonna miss his energy, his leadership, his guidance, um, and him being an ambassador of the sport. Um, but that unselfishness and the creativity are the two biggest things that I will always appreciate about Manu. He could have gone anywhere after we won a couple championships. He, well, he was still young and gone off and probably led the league in scoring and had a career uh, akin to a James Harden. Uh, but he chose to stay, he chose to win, um, he chose to help build up uh, you know, players within the Spurs organization, and like I said, continue to be an ambassador to the sport. So, Manu Ginobili, you'll probably never see this, but thank you for everything. We love you, and one last time, Ginobili!